Hi, in this demo, I'm going to walk you through how to use the Gradient 1 Simple Skippy tool to program a Raggle oscilloscope, acquire the screenshot, acquire the waveform, store them both locally on my laptop, as well as upload them to the Gradient 1 cloud. For starters, you can find more information about the Simple Skippy tool on GitHub. It's a free tool, open source, available to anyone who wants to simplify aspects of the programming using a tool that runs in Python, where you're going to send Skippy commands, to various instruments. The README, all the instructions and documentation is available here. Let's take a look at the script I'm going to run. In the script, I'm going to send uh, a variety of commands to an oscilloscope that is available at this address. This is the identity string. I'm going to have it just run to get it going. I'm going to fetch screenshot, post a screenshot, insert a sleep, and then I'm going to fetch the waveform and then post the waveform to the Gradient 1 cloud. So let's do this. Okay, so Python, Skippy, Runner. Looks like it's processing the commands. It grabbed the screenshot. Great, it stored it locally. It uploaded that to the Gradient 1 cloud. And it also stored the waveform and ran that successfully. So for starters, let's see where it's stored locally. Great, we have waveform data and the screenshot here. Excellent. Let's take a look at what was uploaded to the Grady One Cloud. In order to use this part of the feature, you need to have a Grady One uh, provisioned account. As you can see here, it's available on the web. Um, looks like we have the screenshot, great. Let's also take a look at the waveform. Grab that. Available here. Okay. Excellent. So in, in this particular example, uh, the waveform is uploaded. We give you, the user, the ability to adjust the scale. So if you want to do things like zoom in, you can. Um, if you want to use markers, cursors, a variety of tools, you can use those as well. Um, and of course, if you just want to like keep the data forever and then download it when you need to use it in another application, share it with your teammates, or add comments, you can do all those sorts of things as well. Hope this helps. Thanks.